Uh -huh. You're probably tired of hearing me say that today. <laughs> Darn CC. Yep. All right. So I'm with Cheryl from Creative Wreaths and Flowers. Although most of us know her as Owl because we love her. I'm normally on the other side of the camera. Yes. <laughs> and we had to kind of force her to do this. But she's going to paint for us tonight. I'm excited to watch her paint because this was a hidden talent she didn't know she had. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's always cool though, right? And it's a lot easier than uh, making a wreath, actually, for me. Right, and, and the ribbon. Right, ribbon hates me. Ribbon doesn't hate her, but she, <laughs> she thinks it does. Oh, no, ribbon <laughs> hates me. I'm sure. <laughs> okay. I tried a bow, I threw it away. What can I say? You could do a bow now. I know you could do a bow now. Well, I might. I've got to get my. I, I see you, we're doing a bow. I have to get my ribbons out. Everything's packed in sealed boxes, so. Yeah. Michael got a little excited. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, well, I'm gonna spotlight Cheryl and hide myself so we can watch her create magic. Well, I don't know if it'll be magic, but it'll be magic. We will create. <laughs> we will create magic. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I am Cheryl from Actually Creative Reads DIY and More, or Al from Al's Tech Talk. About 14 months ago, I flipped over from making reads into the tech world, and um, yep. I have a group for beginning tech people, and then I kind of got bored, so Michael had packed up all my wreathing supplies because we were going to move, and we still are. We just don't know when. And I found out that you can buy a bottle of paint and hide it easier than you can a wreath supply. <laughs> so uh, we have our house back. It's just the two of us. I've been in this house for 24 days now. So he is upstairs in his what we declared man cave with his big TV and I'm down here in what I've declared my craft room and I started watching I I do some YouTube videos I edit and upload them and I started watching a painter so I got into painting so tonight we're gonna make a little bumblebee and uh, Michael actually cuts all of my blank um, I, we did have just a jigsaw and I don't have good control of my arms for the jigsaw, but I bought him a bandsaw, but he has broken two blades and hopefully by tomorrow the new blades will come in because I really wanted one of these to do in final, but he got two out before he broke the blade. But this is the template that I'm using and we just cut them out of quarter inch MDF wood. This is a piece, they come in sheets of two by two, or two feet by two feet. And this was a leftover piece of wood. And this one is just the perfect size. Kind of hard to line up in the air, but you just trace it out on your wood. And then he takes the bandsaw, cuts it out, sands it, and then, so this is what I start with. So I'm going to shoot the camera down so you can see what I do. Um, I don't, I can't get it any closer. Sorry, guys. A lot of people with the template will use graphite paper, stick the template back onto the wood, and then trace. But I am not a good tracer. So I freehand with chalk. See, that's so just, just impressive to me. Well, I can't draw, but I can kind of follow the pattern, so. And I've and sent her Facebook page. Thank you. And the, the thing with the chalk is, is that it'll wipe off. So if you make a mistake, you can just wipe it off. You can use a baby wipe, which I should get some out. Baby wipe is a painter's best friend. 
It's everybody's best friend. <laughs> and I want everybody to know that I do have a hoard of these, but I did it before the hoarding started. So. Okay, there's her YouTube channel. Make sure you go subscribe. Yes, please. And watch my old videos. I haven't been live for over a year, so I'm a little nervous to say the least, but. So anyway, I'm just taking and looking at my template. And drawing my lines on. So I'll know where I want my paint to go. I have to think a little bit, so that's why I'm a little bit more quiet at the moment. These are the wings. I'm trying to put the little hands on. And I hope everybody's doing well out there and not going stir crazy. I know I am, but. Oh, yeah. I thought about taking a ride in the car, but I just, I don't know. Well, this morning, everything was um, iced. I got up to a message that said, trash pickup will not be today because there are there is ice. So apparently they weren't putting salt down, but nobody's really going anywhere. So that's a good thing. Oh. But by, let's see, this is Friday. By Sunday, it's supposed to be 60 again. So I guess it's just, you know. Just a little craziness in the series of wonderful things that happen in April. <laughs> I know here they say don't plant until after Mother's Day because there will be a freeze. But, all right. So I've kind of gone by my template, whoops, and drawn on and I'm going to be using a yellows. So what I do first, and I put my paint in egg cartons when I have them. If not, I bought these cups from the Dollar Tree and these little shot glasses from the Dollar Tree. And that's, I just use them and then throw them away. But first I want to cover everything where I want yellow in white because it'll show through better. So I'm just using Deco Art. This is uh, snow or titanium white. And I bought my white, my black, and my yellow in the large bottle because you seem to use a lot of that. And I just, my favorite brush is an angle tip brush. I don't know why, it just is. I have angle tips, I have flat tips, I have rounded tips, and I have... Uh, silver tips, but I always seem to just go to the angle tip, and I'm just going to load my brush up, and I'm going to put white on all the spots, and I just remembered something I forgot, but I'm going to paint a coat of white on all the spots where my yellow will be, and I don't have to be very careful with this because I'm going to cover it. I forgot to put the stripes on the bead. And part of the bee is gonna be yellow, and of course yellow and black. And the wings will be white with a tad of uh, blue in them for highlights. But everywhere that I want yellow, I'm going to make white. And that's, I mean, you don't have to, but it just helps your yellow stand out. Um, I love how you organize your paint. That's pretty stinking smart. How I what? How you organize your paint. You have it in the egg carton. Oh, yeah. Um, that was a trick I learned from, I'm in Southern Adornments Group. Uh, and, um, that's pretty smart. That's how what she uses. I, 
I've tried several things. I saw Rachel painting and she uses the little plastic things, but you have to clean those out. And I'm kind of lazy, so I just use the egg carton and when the egg carton is all used up, then I just will throw it away. Sometimes I'll reuse it, like I'm using one that I've used partially, but it was white paint before. So it just kind of dries up. Especially now, since we can't really get eggs. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, very true. Like I said, I bought those uh, paper cups and then I bought the little plastic ones, which you could clean if you want. But, um, I don't. I just throw them away. Not very economical, I guess, but when you get 20 for a dollar, you can't really complain. So this is really different. I have not, like I said, I have not been live in over a year. You're doing great. So. <clears throat> I, I know there's a couple people that keep saying, don't you want to go live? No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I work on the back side of the camera and that's fine. Yeah. Like, we're, watch the owl behind the screen, like the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> That's right. It was very hard not to uh, moderate on CC's video, because I do, I'm her moderator. You can moderate. <laughs> well, I thought that's kind of Lori's job, so. Yeah, and I don't mind doing it all. And I was really, I'm right. really glad, I'm really glad you're here to read the comments because I do have them popped up over on my iPad, but I'll look like Mr. Magoo if I go to look <laughs> at them. I was supposed to have cataract surgery, but we postponed that until after the virus is over. Yeah. So maybe, and I have to have it done by, before September, but. Otherwise, I have to go through the whole process of getting all set up again. Oh, no. I, yeah, I didn't want to do that. I mean, it's not a hard process, but it's a pain in yes, the Yes, Tom, this is Miss Owl. It sure is. Hi, Tom. How are you? I know I, I shouldn't have come on because, you know. <laughs> no, she's doing great. Anyway. Mama Sai says she wished she had your skill behind the camera. Ah, well, to tell you the truth, I have a degree in computer science or in information systems. So that's where my true love is. But sometimes you just got to do other stuff. And if I quit sticking my hand in wet paint, anyway. <laughs> that's what the baby wipes are for. Exactly. Well, I'll have it all over me before I'm done. Anyway, so you just give a good white coat. Now, you want to let that dry before you put yellow on it. So we have prepared a second one with two coats of white that's already dry. Oh, look at you. Yeah, I, I didn't think you guys would want to sit here and listen to me blow dry. <laughs> that can be annoying. Well, that's true, but we, we would have done that. I know, but those are the parts I cut out of videos. Right. <laughs> so to start with, once you get your white on and it's dry, I'm going to use King's Gold. Oh, I don't know if you guys see it backwards or not. I can't tell. But I'm going to use King's Gold by Apple Barrel. You're just going to shake it up. That is some, such a cute bee. In my, uh, yeah, I got it off the internet. That's why I haven't actually been going live painting because the templates that I get from my group, I'm not allowed to do online. I can teach them at a paint party and I can sell them, but I'm not allowed to paint them online. So I had to go out searching. But everywhere I have the white, 
except for the antennas, I am going to put yellow. And see, it, it covers a lot nicer and it'll have a better color. Because it has the white background? Because it has the white background. Makes sense to me. It's one of those little tricks. Yes, you finally got to see the famous owl. That's right. But as you notice, I'm not showing my face. Well, she was on. Her face was on in the very beginning. That is true. <laughs> so true, so true. It's kind of nice to be mysterious. <laughs> yes. She is the best moderator, y'all. Thank you. And she's awesome with editing videos for YouTube. So see, if you struggle with that, you just have to contact Al. I like to do that. Uh, her husband cut it out, Melissa. Yes. And she paints them. He cuts and she paints. I had to make him feel loved. Cece says she loves me some burn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to have to have a little talk because she was like too fast. I know. She did so great. It was an adorable read. Yes. So Judy sure. says that's an awesome tip. Katie loves to be. Hey, Katie. Hi, Katie. Melissa's on here. Katie and Melissa are coming on next weekend. Fantastic. Yes, we're yeah. doing this. We did it all day today, starting around 2. And um, so if you didn't get to see somebody, please go back and watch the replays. Yes. And we had a full day. Tomorrow and we'll be, be on tomorrow. all day tomorrow from 10 a.m. <laughs> to 10 p.m. Yep. We start off with Sue of Merrick's Memories. Yep. And, and without the little picture, I can't remember the list. I know we finish up with the duo. Uh, Kathy from Santa Marta Designs and Teresa from uh, Perfectly Imperfect. Thank you. Perfectly Imperfect. I know I love the B too. See, so they're all loving the B. Well, good. I actually kind of did this with CC in mind. Oh, yep. I had found it on the internet and I put it into Block Poster and made a template for it. And so she made me show her, and I'm like, I wasn't supposed to. It was supposed to be a surprise. So, because this is actually, it's 10-ish um, by 7, 6 and a half. So it is wreath attachment size. Now, some of the ones I do are door hanger size, so that if you don't want a wreath, you can hang the entire thing on your door. And those are huge. They're about... 20 to 24 inches, most of them. Although I've got a turkey that may be larger than that. I have been quite painting quite a bit. I probably have 24 door hangers. So I need to get them listed, but I haven't taken pictures yet. So that'll be happening at some point. And I can't, it, I can't say I'm too busy because um, I'm just here. We've been without Ryder now for two weeks, so. We're kind of all just here, right? <laughs> yeah. Right before I, I, I sent a message, I said, Melinda, I'm going live. So, you know, like, don't ring the phone. And as soon as I did that, the phone rang. <laughs> and of course, I had Mr. Ryder on there. He has to call us every day so he can see us. So I had to get Mike. Because he Aww. has to see Grandpa, because Grandpa's his best friend. Oh, well, they are at that age. And, um, in fact, he cried one day because they couldn't come to our house. They went out to, to get fast food or something, and he wanted to go to Grandpa's house, and he was told no. So. But uh, that's all right. I would like to know if she can buy one of these. I, yes, I will be listing these um, in my Etsy. I also have a website which is owls tech and creative diy.com and as soon as i get the pictures done 
I will get them listed. Now, each one is listed individually because I cannot recre recreate the exact same thing. It just doesn't have, it's like a wreath. I can create one similar, but I can't create one that's exactly the same. So I don't feel right putting them out there and having people order them. It, it's not what they're getting. So that's why the pictures, um, I'm going to let that dry for a second. I mean, I, I have, this is a door hanger size. It's so cute. I'm trying to keep it out of the glare of the light. I didn't put my box lights up. This was the very first one I ever painted. This was the spring door hanger or the fall door hanger challenge. I love that. And um, so that one probably won't go up for sale. But then I started saying, well, you know, people like wreath oh. attachments. So, and I don't put all the little whimsical things on them and stuff, but I have this penguin. I have a set of a girl and a boy oh. gingerbread. That's so cute. Where's the boy? And don't y'all love Al's hair? <laughs> I love it's her hair. Getting, it's getting, I was supposed to go on the 6th, and now I have to wait till May. Oh, so. yeah. We're all going to be in trouble soon. But this is the pair of gingerbreads. This is one of my personal favorites. I, I love like that. It. So I have, a, I have an ask. This is the turkey I was telling you about, store hanger size. I've been cutting them down. But this turkey is oh, quite huge. That's you can so see him from the road. So. So cute. I mean, I did a lot for Easter, which I know won't go this Easter, but. What else do I got down here? I think I have everything, but um, this one actually came from Hot Mesh Mom, I think. Oh. It was a laser door hanger. I bought it at Reef Makers Live. So that one I can't give my credit for. But I'm trying, was trying to get ready and get them all done. Well, and I might have pushed her a little bit early. <laughs> Because we, we, we kind of got ahead of schedule, so. Well, and it's good because then Lori can go and get some rest before tomorrow. This is true. So, but I do have several and I will be listing them. I'm not sure the pricing yet, probably between $12 and $15 each for the um, wreath attachment size and 20 to 25 for the door hanger size. And I'm not sure on that at all. I have to really... Why do I have that little bitty brush? What did I do? There it is. Sorry, I have my little bitty brush. I was like, why is this not working for me? But I like to put a couple of coats of paint on it. I don't like to see the brush strokes. And then when I'm done with these, um, after they completely dry, I will go back and spray them with a gloss coat. I usually don't do anything to the back and I do normally paint the sides. I'm not gonna do that tonight because it takes a lot of time and I have it everywhere, so. But I will get them listed soon, I promise. Well, we've been waiting for better days and we got better days and then like I said, they snuck this ice and snow last night on us. Oh, yeah. Oh. But you yeah, definitely that, need to get those listed. Yeah, I do. But then there's somebody else I know that has a problem listing there. So uh, um, I, I have nothing to say about that because that would be me. <laughs> I know. I can list signs because that takes me like no time. But uh, to risk, list one of my wreaths, I have to take pictures and. Right. There's a very small window of time to do that. <laughs> time is not my friend. Well, I have been waiting for warm weather. Um, 
I do all my outlining with paint pens and oh. I couldn't spray them because of the temperature here because I'm in a cornfield in Nebraska and if you use a Posca paint pen I think it's oil based but anyway when you put on the sealer the Minwax sealer it drags the paint so I was very disgusted because I made a bunch of gnomes I guess I don't have them in in my collection here but I made a bunch of gnomes and the first one I made when I went to put the Minwax on it it pulled black paint and it was a turquoise one so I wasn't impressed Judy wants to know if you're going to sell the blanks or ones already painted. Um, I just have the ones that are painted. I would have to discuss the blanks with Michael because uh, I make him cut them all. And so far, he's busted two blades on my, um, my new bandsaw. I haven't even had it two weeks yet, and he's busted two blades. <laughs> I wouldn't so, know what to do with that. So... Um, that's why I wanted to, to complete a full one before I went on live, just to see what it would look like finished. And um, that didn't happen because he got two and he broke the other blade. So we have three coming from Amazon. I thought they might be in today, but I don't think they are. And if they do come, you want them to sit out on the porch, they say anyway, for a while. But I forgot him to tell him to go look. I didn't get an email. But he will be cutting more blanks. And then, of course, I think I only have four sheets of the wood left. But if I do the door hanger size, I get more. I usually get one door hanger out of a sheet of wood, but I can get like that scrap piece I had came off a door hanger. So I can actually get more of the little ones out of a sheet of wood. That's why your door hangers cost more because it takes more wood. And I do just get this wood at Home Depot. I was amazed that I could find it because you can't find MDF everywhere. Some people have to buy it. You have to buy it in bulk. But Home Depot does carry the two by two and two by four sheets. I'm not sure if Mel, because Mel paints too, and I'm not sure if she's um, getting her wood at home depot or, or where so on my little picture on the right side of the b or this side of the b whoops sorry forget my camera's tilted on this side of the b it's kind of a little darker yellow so i picked out some golden sunset by apple barrel that just sounds pretty I like the names of the paint colors. I've got a pink one I love. It's called Bubblegum. And I'm just going to add a little bit to this one side. And that'll kind of help shade him on that one side. I actually have a picture of him brought up. Oh. oh, it takes time to learn the blades, Rachel says. Well, Rachel, he's mm -hmm. he's real fun because he's already broke two. Not just one, but two. And then he had me order a half inch. Well, that didn't work in the saw. So, anyway, um... I guess I can tell you who's, I, I thought I had a picture pulled up, but apparently I don't, of the bee. Um, tomorrow's menu or schedule, if you will, will be Sue from Merrick's Memories, then Johnny from Creative Designs by JL, Lisa from Lisa's Sheet Creations, Mel from, I can't, I got it. Yes. Mel's Corner Creations and Anne's Creative. Oh, they're going together. together. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Susan from AC Inspired Rees. Yeah. Jean from Buggy Bunker Designs. Uh-huh. Brenda from Rees by Busy Bee Custom Creations. 
and then Dawn from Wreath Decor by Dawn, and then oh. Kathy Lopes of Santa Marta Designs, along with Teresa of Perfectly Imperfect. Yep. So that is. That's okay. our lineup. That's our lineup for tomorrow. So you guys make sure to jump on and watch them because it'll be a fantastic show. Oh, and, Rachel said she broke several. Well, he's giving you a run for your money, trust me. In fact, I, have, I haven't looked at emails today, Tom, but I, I will look at it here shortly. In fact, I was all excited because I was going to try to cut one, and then he came in and said, sorry, I broke the blade. Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to use apple barrel black, and I'm going to go in and fill in my black spots now. Yeah, it is a full schedule tomorrow. And next it weekend, really we'll is. have new people or different people. We have to spread the love. That's right. And besides, one live a year is plenty. <laughs> Goodness. Let's keep looking over here at my little. And the thing I like about the paint pens, or if you're good at outlining with a, a round tip, um, you can cover up mistakes. And if you don't like what you do, you just wait for it all to dry, cover it with white, and start all over. I'm going to change to a little smaller brush because... This is a smaller spot. But that is the thing about acrylic painting. It's very forgiving. If you don't like it, just let it dry. And then you can cover it with white. And you can start all over. So it's, a, it's like a wreath. It's a, a forgiving craft. I can't paint, so I don't find it that forgiving. Well, I didn't know I could paint either, but. I can it's, paint. A, it's amazing what you can really do. Because, see, this looks so sloppy. Look how sloppy it looks. That does not look sloppy. Well, I think it does. And like, like I said, baby wipes. Can be your friend. Yes. I didn't have him cut these real thin because I was afraid they would break off. See, they all say it looks so cute. Well, thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. See, I'd probably go through an entire package of baby wipes trying to paint something. <laughs> well, you know, baby wipes are kind of nice because no matter how many times you wipe your brush or whatever, you can just keep using it. It's amazing. Oh. So I, I got down to about two or three per paint or for door hanger or wreath attachment. Okay. I wonder if the white's still wet. Oh, yeah, it's good. Okay. I thought I, I actually have a second egg carton here because I thought I might. I was going to just use a new one, and then I thought, well, there are like four slots left in this one. Normally, and we've been saving these forever, normally 
uh, Mike has some of his mom's family live up north here and we go to a family reunion and they have chickens so he saves the egg containers to take up to ah. Morris so he can put his eggs in them but I said huh uh the ones that are foam are now mine awesome so but when I run out of those I'll just find something else I tried using the um plastic devil egg holder from uh the Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. And those work and you can clean them out and reuse them, but I got tired of doing that. It's just easier for me to toss whatever I'm using into the trash. I agree. I like things I can toss. I don't want to have to clean it, especially after I'm finished doing something. <laughs> yeah, because when you're done, you're just like, Ugh, I'm done. But I wanted to paint really bad last night, but all I had was the one little bee. Well, he, he showed me that, look, you have an owl. And I thought, oh, I didn't realize he'd cut the owl out. But that one is from a long time ago um, out of the template selection. And it was before they put all of the details on the template. Mm -hmm. So you have different pieces you have to lay on and, like, I don't want to paint that right now. It's for Halloween. And I've also bought um, jumbo coloring books from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to try to uh, scan those in. Put them in the oh. block, block poster and make my own templates out of that. So that'll be interesting. a little bit more white there because it kind of messed up but so I really do like the painting I really do and it actually is a little bit cheaper than making a wreath I've also done a lot of Cricut projects so That is looking so cute. Thank you. Hello again, Cindy. I know we're still here. We are, we are, but we promise that we'll give you a break when I'm done. As long as you come back at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Yes. And spend the day with us. Yes. Bella and I will be here all day. And I thought just, I would like to paint, too, until I figured out I can't. Oh, never say can't. It's like I say, Ribbon hates me. Well, what they did in the, in the colored picture is, I don't know who booped, is um, kind of put, for shading on white, you can put blue. So I've chosen a summer sky and we're going to see if that's too dark. I'm just going to go ahead and paint it on the white. Actually, I probably need another coat of white, but I just want to see how this will work. Yeah, that'll be fine. Great. Good to know. Good to know. But I want to put another coat of white on the wings. But you should be able to paint, Lori. It's it's like, I don't do canvas painting. I mean, I tried one, I threw it away. But they call this a lot like paint by number. I don't consider it paint by number, but. 
Well, I could do paint by number, but I don't know. Maybe it's a patience thing. It could be. I have tons of patience for people, but when I have to sit down and do something tedious, hmm, not as much. <laughs> And I'm the world's worst. They say never leave your brushes set in the water. Well, see, I would be bad about that. <laughs> I find my brushes. So I'm trying to be better. I just bought a set of a set of 12 of each of the kinds of brushes. Michael made me a holder. So I'm trying to be, and I have them in numerical order because they go from one to 12. So I'm trying to be better organized. And I'm just taking the, after I put on the white, I'm just taking the light blue. And that's what I'm using to kind of define the wings. Oh. They do I this. Never a, would have done that. Yeah, they do this a lot for snow scenes also. They use the blue to uh, highlight the white, kind of help it stand out. What are your favorite brushes, Cheryl? Well, angled angle brushes. That's what I use most of the time. Uh, these say Za Ting on them, but I just bought uh, angle brushes off of Amazon. Oh, Anita says add a drop of Dawn to your water. They clean up so much better. Yeah, I do. Oh. I am. Um, I add dish soap in the water, so. I'm learning all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I also bought, um, when I want to treat them, and, you know, after a while, you need to give them a good clean. I think it's called Mule something brush soap. It has a conditioner in them. So, oh. I have my little cup of water with me. When you first do it, it kind of foams up. It's kind of, you kind of laugh. And if you're impatient, you don't let it dry, so. This is uh, Craft Smart. It's Michael's brand. And it's just bright red. And I'm going to do his nose and his mouth. With that, I went through a lot of red over doing um, Christmas and the holidays. Because I started painting in, I guess, about September. So I, I had, in fact, I put them on a post and put them out in front of my house. <laughs> that's what I would do, Cece. Cece says you sent her a bunch and she's messed them up. That's exactly what I would do. <laughs> she what? She said she messed them up. I would have to, like, keep painting the white over it 
to like start over. <laughs> so that's the good thing about painting, right? So you can just paint the white right over it. You can just paint it again and start, start all over. Awesome. But he's basically pretty much done, except for the outlining. And I am going to give him a little bit of white shading or white doodad right there. And to do that, oh, Lord. There we go. I, like I said, I had Posca pins. But these are actually water-based. They're by Flysee. And they're acrylic painters that are water-based. And if I use these, if I have to seal them with the Minwax, they won't, they won't bleed. Where the Posca pins are alcohol-based. But nobody tells you that when you start. So you have to learn the hard way. If Mel is on here, she can tell you the same thing. Because we both had to learn the hard way. And give him a second to dry. Does anybody have any other questions? I can let you see me. Oh. Yep, we're done for the night after this. I okay. am. Start over tomorrow. 10 a.m., be there. Yes. I actually bought colored chalk too in case I wanted to paint something white and then color draw the lines on it. But okay. Yeah, and it looks like next weekend we're gonna have pretty much just as many. So we're really gonna have fun. So what I do is I just basically outline. Oh, wow, this has been fun. It has been a day, that's for sure. Well, it's a lot more fun than what I would have done otherwise. It's kept the boredom away. Yes. And I never get to do this anymore, just sit and watch people. So this is awesome. Yeah. I never get to watch yours when I'm moderating. I know. Those comments come in too fast. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you what, boy. I got a little excited. I hit hit the I hit the edge. I'll have to cover that after when it dries. But it's amazing how doing the outline just really makes a difference. Yes, that detail work. See, I don't know if my hand would be steady enough for that. Well, I don't have steady hands at all, hon. Oh, it's so cute. If I could do it, anybody could do it. Peggy wants to know if this is for Cece. Um, probably. Yeah, Cindy says the comments come in hot. That's awesome, I love that. I agree, it is adorable. Once it's dried, what do you do next? Judy wants to know. I'll let it dry for 24 hours and then, well, hopefully it'll be a warm day. Um, I wax them or seal them. I don't know how she keeps up either, Debbie. Debbie says she doesn't know how you keep up on my videos. 
Well, you just, it's an acquired thing. You just kind of get used to it. The only time I have trouble is when we have a troll. And the ones that like to put like 25 comments at a time. Then I get a little aggravated. Yeah, when they do like one letter at a time. Oh, yeah, or, or uh, copy and paste. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, I'm out to get them. Kids with nothing to do. Sometimes I don't think it's just kids. No, it's probably not. I'm not letting my paint dry. <laughs> How big is the bee? It is approximately... 10 inches by six and a half to seven inches. About the same size as a um, regular wreath attachment. I kind of try to keep them that size if I can. Door hangers are 20 to 24 inches. Although, I think the turkey is a lot bigger. And in the paintings, look at, or if you like the door hangers and you're thinking about buying one, look at them closely because I am not perfect by any stretch of an imagination. But that's what makes them special. True. But I try. I don't like perfection. Perfection is boring. And I still have to wait for that foot to dry to put the yellow on it so it'll cover it. But pretty much. Oh, I remembered what I wanted to do now. Hold on one second. I don't do a lot of highlights on mine. I just haven't got there yet. There she is, or there he is, or and there you go. Oh, it's so cute. I agree, homemade is the best. That is my ultimate dream is to start go from start to finish entirely handmade. Judy wants the gnome. I didn't even show you the gnome. Well, I guess I did. That was the gnome that was drug. Hold on a second. The gnome is one of the first ones I did. step on something. I love the little face on it too. It's so cute. So this is the door hanger gnome. This is actually for Melinda's door. And I do my, I'm not good at hand lettering. This is done with the Cricut. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love that. Now here's the one. This is the one that the paint bled on, but I did a smaller version. Where did the paint bleed? Um, it's like down around the glove and it's hard to see it, but you can see where it's dragged a little bit and that was from waxing it. Yeah, you'd have, to, you'd have to look pretty close. Here's the difference in the size of them. Oh my gosh, I love that little one. And that, I actually, that was the first one Mike learned how to cut too. So got a little overexcited. See, they all love him. And I love so that. I have a green one. I have He's a red one that I. Cheryl. 
Well, I'm going to get them up there, I promise. And then I have a blue one. I agree. It's cute whether it has a tiny little drag on it or not. So mostly just different varieties and colors. Then I actually did this for St. Patrick's Day. I'm not real thrilled, but... But... So I just keep adding to the stack, and then I keep thinking to myself, well, I better do pictures and get them listed. <laughs> um, yes. And you know what? You could do pictures inside on those. Yeah, well, yeah. I just haven't got around to it yet. We had... Well, the 14th of February is when Melinda and them closed on their home. So we spent two weeks to like the 5th of March trying to get all of their stuff out of here. And then on the 5th of March, I went to the crafters convention in Illinois. Yes. And then we came back and the next morning I went out like on the 9th and bought the bandsaw from Home Depot and then... I have no excuse because I haven't left since then. See, there are people on here that want to buy them. Al, you need to get them listed. Well, I will. I will work on that this week, I promise. Like I said, you can Good. go to my Etsy store, which is Creative Rees by CR. All right. Or you can go to my website. It seems to work except for I can't connect to AdSense. Um, but that is oh, Al's this Tech this. and Creative DIY. Yeah, I think I messed with the header. I was one of those silly people. So I took something out of the header I shouldn't. But that's okay. It, it seems to work still for a sale, so. Okay, there's her shop. So y'all can stalk her and see when she puts them on. I'll work on it, I promise. Look, Good. I'm done when I'm supposed to start. <gasps> Look at that. You did so good. I love the little shading. Yeah, it's very hard to see the blue shading on this. But I just know. a little bit of blue makes a world of difference. It's, Isn't that I don't crazy? know why. I didn't know that. Yeah, I don't know why. It's just the way it is. Well, this was fun. So thank you all so much for coming in. Thank, yes. us today. thank you everybody for coming in. If you can pop over, I'm still under creative breeze on YouTube. Hit the bell. Yes. And then if I, I ever do a, upload uh -huh, new content. I did in here. So make sure you go uh, watch some of her videos because she's this close to her next milestone and she needs it. And yeah, I mean, I could help myself by putting some lives up there. I do believe this this one can a replay go up. of this live will be going up. Yeah. Unless I decide to record another one. Um, oh, oh, that's even better. Both. But you, I mean, I oh. don't mind recording and putting them up, but you just never know when I'm gonna. I don't. I can't commit to a time because a lot of times I'm not sure what I'm doing when. Yeah. And every every evening. Um, I have a, a live to do except for Saturday. Saturdays are reserved for the day off. So Mondays are usually my day off, but I spend all day Sunday with Lori. Yes, she does. And then I double header lives on Wednesday. I have lives on Monday and Friday and yep. then a live on Thursday and then a class. So yep. Yeah. I know when you have groups, it's busy, busy. It is on Friday. Um, my group meets at one on Fridays when I remember. I, I am sorry if anybody's in my group that was here. Um, I forgot today was Friday. I know, I know I did too. All uh, my days are running together because my husband's home. Yeah. And I'm not used to that. So it's just like continuous days. Well, normally, you know, we'd go out and do something or. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I don't even know what's on. And since we got rid of the cable and I just watch YouTube TV, I stream that live. I can watch whatever show I want when from the beginning. Because if I get up too late to watch the beginning of The Price is Right, I just say watch it from the beginning. And 
So even my days are screwed up time-wise because my time gets yeah. off. But, and thank you, Lori, for the opportunity. Of I guess, course. I guess I did have a little rust, but it didn't seem to hurt too bad. Uh, you did just great. I couldn't tell. Well, thanks. See, nobody we, could we tell, all, right? She wasn't we all rusty. thank you for the opportunity. Glad Absolutely. to see uh, my peeps. I hope my peeps that used to follow me came on. I did put a couple of uh, notices up because I knew they would just like be in shock. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's really going to go live? Yeah. And I really don't mind going live. And once you start doing it again, you get addicted. That's right. You do. So. It becomes a requirement. And it's easier now that Mr. Ryder hasn't been around. Well, this that was, is true. He's you not know, knocking when, things over or taking right. paint or. When you've got a three-year-old running around, it gets challenging. Well, you, you've yeah. seen the dog hit my lights on my head <laughs> and um, things That's like okay. that. That's okay. Bella broke my Mevo one time, so it happens. <laughs> yeah. She breaks everything now with her cone on, poor baby. Oh, I'm sure. Well, then that's not her fault, poor baby. Oh, no, it's not. But hey, this one's a, a lot better than the one they sent her home with. Oh, my goodness. You could have put her out in the backyard to get your own TV soon. I know. It's terrible. But. But she's doing much better now. I'm glad. And you can do fine taking out those stitches. I have every confidence in you. Okay. I'm a little stressed about that, but it's it's like a week off, so. And you'll be fine. I may make husband do that. Oh, you can and I, help. And I'll, and I'll hold her. There you go. <laughs> I think that'll work better. And that way she won't be mad at you. She'll right. be mad at him. Right. I, I like that better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I like that better. Awesome. <laughs> well, everybody have a fantastic yes. evening. Don't forget to join us at 10 a.m. in the morning. That's right. And follow us all day long. because. Yes. That's why we're here. That's exactly right. Thank to show you, you what we all can do. Great job. Love all right. It. Get those listed. I will. I promise. <laughs> all right. Good night, y'all. Thank you so much for joining us, and uh, we will see you tomorrow morning early. All right. Bye, y'all. Bye.